Guys, you're not going to believe this when I say this, so brace yourselves. The Elden Ring DLC is hard. It's very hard. <laughs> Apparently, it's bad because it's hard. I call this event the Great Filtering. Remember all the memes you were seeing before it came out? My level 700 character in Mimic Tier about to steamroll this DLC. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see about that. Miyazaki said we will see about that. And he was fucking right. A lot of these complaints... I've been seeing are genuine skill issues or like exploration issues like you, you're not you're making the game harder by not collecting these fragments because this is the leveling system of the DLC it forces you to explore to uh, collect these fragments to make the game you know playable <laughs> but uh, some genuine complaints I've seen from someone like like Asmongo he says it's too hard to the point it's not enjoyable which it's not fun I mean that's what he said which I can understand. My enjoyment derived from learning the boss's moveset, mastering it, and then, you know, getting good to the point where I can damn near no hit the boss. That's fun. Like, cause I come from fighting games where you learn your character, you learn the frames, you learn your combos, you learn everything. You learn matchups against the character, what you can punish, what you can't punish. This DLC reminds me a lot of fighting games in that aspect. And that's the fun of learning the bosses. There's three or four bosses in the DLC that are on Melania's level of difficulty. And for someone like me, I'm eating right now. I love it. That's a lot of content. For an average player, good luck, man. Good luck. You can still cheese shit. There's definitely cheese shit. And this is hard but fair, by the way. It's not bullshit. I can show you right now. People have already the hardest boss in the history of Souls games, apparently. Let me just show you this. Watch this with me real quick. Look at this blue man over here. Look at that. He's not doing too much damage. Wow, he just parried him. Look at his health, by the way. He has no health. Wow, staggered. Bleed proc. Wow. Phase 2 in 10 seconds. Wow. Incredible. Wow, this is so bullshit. Oh my god. How is, he, is it possible to dodge that? Wow. There you go. Oh, and by the way, a goldfish beat Melania, so. This is a QWOP on YouTube. You can go check him out. He's probably the best. Better than me. <laughs> I couldn't do that. So the game is obviously not bullshit if you're able to do that. There are genuine critiques though. The camera is bad in some boss fights. I was fighting Bale, Bale, I don't know how to say his name, the dragon. That pissed me off, bro. I would have probably killed that boss an hour sooner if the camera wasn't so, I swear to God, the camera was so bad in that fight. Cause it only locks onto his head and most of the time his head's too high to hit. You're missing half your fucking swing so you have to unlock, hit his feet, then lock back onto him. <laughs> but this is what y'all remind me of. Let's say you're about to sit down, watch a movie with the intention of reviewing it right. So you're watching the movie and you're on your phone half the time, more than half the time, and you don't fully understand the movie. But when you're done with the movie, when you're reviewing it, you go, this movie is very confusing and it's kind of stupid. Bad movie. That's what you sound like right now. But like I was saying earlier, Asman was saying it's so hard it's not fun. He doesn't get fun from learning the bosses, I guess. Whereas people like me do get enjoyment from. I fucked up here. Which way do I roll? He attacks like this. Do I roll left? No, it hits me if I go. go. No, no, it hits me that way. Oh, I roll forward. And then next time he does it, you roll forward and you fuck him up. <laughs> it's just learning the moveset and then basically doing it flawlessly. Let's, so let's see some Steam reviews here. And let's see if these are genuinely good critiques. Or is it really a skill issue? I'm not about to tell you to get good unless you just say game poopy, game bad. Oh, and I did find a, a lot of these critiques are the FPS drops. Turn off ray tracing right now. Please turn off ray tracing. It eats your fucking RAM and it doesn't even do anything for the game. That's why you're getting FPS drops. Please turn off ray tracing, please. Oh God, this one's very, it took an urge tree to make from software a game to become a flanderization of itself. You know what he's saying right now? 
A flanderization is when a character in a show has like a gimmick. Patrick is stupid, right? But Patrick has more depth than being stupid. But the further the show goes along, Patrick's main character trait is now stupid. And everything he does is stupid. The newer episode of Spongebob, Patrick's just dumb. And he doesn't do anything else. So what this guy is saying is, this game is hard and it doesn't do anything else. There's no lore, there's no world building, there's no exploration, there's no map design, there's no good... Yes, this game is just hard and that's it. It's just, you load up the game and it's just a, a bullshit boss fight. That's it. There's no world, there's no nothing. That's what this guy's saying. He says, I could have talked about what could have possibly went wrong day in and out, but those all have been discussed and I don't want to over complain. I don't want to over complain. Leaves a fucking book. This guy's just been bored. He says, parentheses. And I was just there thinking people were, were over complaining as always. In parentheses. So I'll just say this. If you are enjoying this whole cheap shtick of some people claiming this game is hard and some nerds min maxing builds and optimizing them so they can find new ways to cheese, I go ahead and have your fun. He just said, I let the virtuous cycle of superiority circle jerk continue and live on forever. Because it's not, oh my God, bro, I hate people like this. He's all high and mighty, better than thou type shit. It's not a circle jerk if I go, bro, you don't understand what you're talking about. And you're over here going, this is boss is the most bullshit thing in the world. This game is trash. There's no way to dodge that. There's no way. Oh, you don't understand what you're talking about. Then what? Is... It's from soft and an arms race again in community to increase the steepness of the learning curve. Do people even realize that from soft disregard the self-inflicted rules of its own community? Disregard what? All right, first of all, let me explain it like this. Remember how I was saying the, the story of Dark Souls is to become nothing, to be nothing, and become king of the world, basically. That's every fucking from software game besides Bloodborne. You're already the hunter in that game. You're nothing, and then you become the greatest. And to match that story, the gameplay has to be super hard, so it feels like you achieve something after you're done. But what happens is something called power creep. Dark Souls 1, in today's standards, is easy. Especially Demon Souls. Like, if they put some Dark Souls 1 bosses in Elden Ring or the DLC, they'd be the easiest in the DLC by far. So, to give you that sense of accomplishment, they have to do power creep because the average player base's skill is increasing over time. So that's why you end up with this DLC being hard as fuck. But it's still fair. You just have to learn it. And bro, it's only been a couple days. Did you think you're gonna beat it in a day? I can't stand these people. What rules do they disregard? To the rest who can no longer have fun, and to the FromSoft for, uh, itself and Miyazaki himself, where where are we really at? What is he saying? Please take a chill pill and go back to your tightly designed, faster paced, and smaller scale games. What's he talking about? First of all, what rules are they disregarding? He didn't say any. I seriously get it. This guy has schizophrenia, how he's talking right now. You can do flashy bosses with never ending combos, but there's no art or virtue to it. You completely have forgotten the simplistic beauty of your games from software. Shame. I hate people like this. Remember like Orphan of Cause? When did that come out like 2015? He's kind of on par with some of these bosses in the DLC. They've always been making, oh my God. The Nameless King, I wish you folk a beautiful day as you'll be certainly getting, I'm guessing that says butt fucked by the attacks that are either ridiculously fast or painfully delayed. Ramped up this to an 11 for nothing. I don't like this design philosophy. So what I'm hearing is I don't understand the game it's very hard. I didn't take the time to learn it at all though, but bad game. So this is a genuine skill issue right here. No good critiques. He just said it's hard. Therefore bad game. Frame rates. He says the base game is already a ten out of ten. That said, the DLC genuinely feels like everything's cranked up to an eleven. That's how every from software DLC is. Are you new here? You must be new here. Literally, in, in a bad, and not in a bad way. Shadowkeep is probably the best legacy dungeon ever. And Mesmer is by far one of the most fun in the entire game. Bale is crazy fun too. Sadly, for some reason, the lore and overall story of the DLC got screwed for no reason at all. The final boss, what are you talking about, bro? 
The final boss could have been something amazing to wrap this fantastic experience up, but instead it's a boring ass pool that just feels wrong and unfinished. What are you talking about, bro? That was so hype when he came on the screen. I imagine they had other plans for the reason they changed it. This guy is talking out his ass right now. The lore, they explained a lot, they answered a lot of questions. I really, 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 really wanted to love this DLC, but I've always been extremely interested in the lore and considering how well crafted the base game was and everything you saw in the trailers. This has the potential to be perfect. And Mist also fixed the fucking frame rate. Every fight is a 1v3 against the boss, the camera, and the frame drop. Another skill issue, but have you. Oh my god. He's talking about the lore is bad now. We don't even fully understand the lore yet. People are still digging into shit. Not everything's been explored yet. Um, I guarantee you haven't explored everything in the map either. Have you done any quest line? The dude with the fingers. Explain where the fucking fingers come from. That's been a huge question. I did that quest line. Got that sick ass dark katana. God damn, bro. There's way more quest lines too. Whew. He said, first the scenery in the world looked beautiful. Probably the rays looking, yes, it's, it's very nice. Frame dropping, yeah, just turn ray tracing off, bro. I don't, I see like that's a lot of people. I haven't had one single frame dip, but a lot of the bosses felt soulless. What? Only two or three have cutscenes. Maybe a little more have cutscenes, but not every boss in the main game has cutscenes. Not, not every boss in any of the game has cutscenes. I'm Bloodborne, not the earlier Dark Souls. Not every boss has a fucking cutscene, bro. It says, it's hard not to comp compare it to Bloodborne where there's three spectacular bosses with interesting important lore in the base game. I would argue this DLC has more than three spectacular bosses. The final boss, Bale, Ren what's her name, Renala, I don't, I don't know, Mesmer, even that uh, the dancing lion thing, bruh, they were all fun as fuck. I didn't really like the finger one though, that was kind of a finger one, oh. The frenzy dude was cool as fuck. The more I think about it, this is the best DLC ever. I don't. It might be recency bias, but a couple of the bosses I don't really like. But on average, the bosses are better than any other DLC. On average, he says the final boss was too hard. Give us you. And a lot of these are like I can tell you didn't explore and get, didn't get any fucking fragments. That's the scaling in this. The fragments, bro. If you're getting two shot, it's because you're not exploring the world. They put the people are saying the fragments are a bad design. You don't understand the game. You really don't. You talking that your ass. You really are. Think about it. Leveling. Once you're past 150, the leveling doesn't really matter for the DLC. Once you're 150, it don't even matter for the base game. You can do anything in the game at that point. So they're like, what? Should we just make the new base 300 now? Get the 300 and you can do the DLC. I know like, nah, that's kind of stupid. We need people to explore this world. There's no flash or anything that you need to get anymore though. Cause that's what forces you to explore the base game. Like flash, dungeons and armor and shit. In this one it's like you can still get armor and shit. But what's gonna force you to explore is the shadow, whatever they call fragments, the blessings. That's what's gonna make them go every location of the map. Force you to explore. But as you can see, we can tell who didn't explore. We can tell who thinks they are a fucking streamer and wants to rush through the game. We can tell who really enjoys these games and who gets filtered. This is the great filtering guys. You're watching it in full effect. All the casuals getting filtered. I know I sound like some elitist but this shit is hilarious to me. When a bunch of people just talk out their ass. He said I was really expecting some life changing stuff. Alright you know how the base game Elder Ring it was so hyped up but it exceeded expectations. I feel like this exceeded expectations too. I feel like the DLC was going to be hard, but I didn't know it was going to be this hard. This is what people wanted for real. Imagine this came out and there was only like one hard boss. I'm like, ah. I kind of blew through the DLC. It wasn't that bad. Just think about the public reception. Shit was easy. Shit was not worth the wait. It was, it was uh, 15 hours. It was too easy. I don't know. But now this we got four bosses on Melania's level. Damn, this is getting people shit to talk. You gonna come back in a year from now? All these people are gonna change their mind. Mark my fucking words. Save this, clip this a year from now. Maybe not even a year, probably months from now. A couple weeks from now even. All these people hating on the game, they're gonna do a whole 180. They're gonna do an entire 180. Cause I guess I want you to know one thing. You know how everyone is shitting on Kai Sinet for being trash at the game? He's better than you. If you left one of these reviews, he's better than you.
just know that he's gonna beat the game before you because one thing the difference between between you and him I, I guess he don't give up man he's not a bitch I guess he says from software has long departed since uh, from challenging but fair oh he's saying the game's not fair as I showed you dude already no hit the hardest boss in the game he no hit it <laughs> not fair by the way for me if a boss isn't fair you wouldn't be able to no hit it it's just that simple everything is still telegraphed you can still dodge everything perfectly on one caveat you have to understand the boss fight wow it's almost like they expect more from you than the average game developer they don't want to hold your hand they're not they're saying no bitches allowed here no bitches allowed and guess what they're reading this reviews right now <laughs> I smell bitch everywhere, bro. He's a decade plus veteran, by the way. <laughs> this is what he means by fair. That's what he means by fair. That's what he wants the boss to do. <laughs> Trash. He's talking about you don't have breathing room and shit. You don't have breathing room. It's very intense. But. If you ever play Sekiro, once you get in that flow state of just psh, parry, parry, hit, hit, parry, parry, dodge, hit, parry. It's fucking, it's like a dance. It's euphoric when you get good at the game. I get that same feeling with this. When you get good at the game, it's like you enter this flow state and it's just you fucking euphoric. It's incredible. It's just, all I'm hearing is genuine skill issue after genuine skill issue. Like, I understand if you don't like learning the bosses for whatever reason. You just want to jump heavy attack every boss and just out DPS them. Sure, that sounds very boring to me, but hey man, we all bought the game. We can play however you want. I'm doing full playthroughs on the game, by the way. I'm uploading them. If you want to watch how I'm beating them, no summons or nothing. And you can watch me take two hours on one boss to learn it and finally beat it. You can do that. Check my credentials. But um, if you like the video, subscribe. I, I just talk shit, bro. Don't take me serious. I just talk shit. This is funny to me. You can talk shit back to me. I'll love it.